you have thick skin and crow's feet and you want to make those crow's feet look better fast, stay tuned. I have a solution for you. That's coming up next. Welcome back, Christine Bayer here, licensed esthetician for 22 years. And on my channel, we talk about skincare journeys because it's never one thing that makes your face look better. It's usually a whole combination of things. And so this month we are talking about the eyes. We're doing a deep dive into the eyes. This is week two. Last week we talked about using the ultrasonic spatula around your eyes. And this week we're talking about what would you do if you had really thick skin and lots of crow's feet. I have the perfect device for you. <laughs> Ta-da! This is a German-made device. It is microdermabrasion, which you can use this around the eyes, and I'm gonna show you how. It's a little tricky and takes some practice, and you wanna start out with the sensitive head on this. This comes with two different heads. They twist off very easily, and you can clean them, stick them in some barbicide, or if you're just using it for your personal use, just clean it with some soap and water. This is perfection around the eyes. If you've got that thick skin and lots of crow's feet and you wanna make those look better, this is fantastic. So when you're working the eye, let me show you what that would look like. You wanna really hold on to the skin. You really have to tack it down. You don't have to do in this big of section. You can actually do a smaller section and then go straight back. Just make sure you don't suck the skin up into the head. <laughs> I mean, it will suck for a second, but not, not leave it there so you get a hickey. Anyway, this is a perfect device. It's gonna bring blood to the surface. It's gonna resurface the crow's feet area. And it also, that suction actually makes the, the muscles go into a retraction mode. So it will pull back and snap back and you'll get like a little firming action from it, which is nice. Microdermabrasion around the eyes is possible. I would only do it in the crow's feet area. I don't. I would not come up here. It's just a little bit too delicate. You can do underneath the eyes. It's just make sure you've got that skin tacked down so that you can work on it because otherwise it's, it's thin skin. Aim for lighter strokes that are very short and do try to get the suction because that's part of the action. And don't go over one place more than five strokes or five times. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye now.